Anambra State Government has inaugurated the Human Capital Development Technical Working Committee to assist in identifying means of improving human capital development in the state. The team are to mainstream relevant initiatives that could drive the state towards achieving the mandate in human capital development in areas of education, health, nutrition improvement, among others. Emmanuel Okonkwo has details. Inaugurating the committee at the government house Oka, the deputy governor of Anambra State, Dr. Nye Kachui Bezim, charged them to be effective in the discharge of their duties to enable the present administration of Professor Thomas Oludo achieve its enormous plans for the Anambra. Dr. Ibezim reminded them that much is expected of them by the state government and warned them against acts that can hinder the actualization of positive results from the committee. It's not actually a new thing. But this council and your team is to strengthen us in the things that we've been doing and if there are gaps, we identify them and then allow the state to do the needful. Very important. The committee's focal person and commissioner for budget and economic planning, Mrs. Chiamaka Nake, expressed the readiness of the team to achieve results for the state government. We thought to bring in this team together to ensure that the state is actually um, taking its lead and also driving its activities towards achieving the national mandate towards human capital development. In a vote of thanks, Anambra State Commissioner for Youth Development, Mr. Patrick Ayamba, who is a member of the committee, thanked the state government for finding them worthy to serve and assured that they will not disappoint the state. Uh, this is a, um, a, a task and all of us must understand that um, Mr. Governor and uh, is a um, just oriented uh, man. What he needs is just a result. Members of the committee were drawn from ministries of budgets and economic planning, education, youth development and health. From Government House in Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo reporting for ABS News.